Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Back to the Cardboard. Sorry, I look a little hot here, been mowing the yard. I finally caught a day when it wasn't raining, so I better jump on it. But while I was mowing the yard, I got to thinking, thinking about baseball. Right? Who could imagine that? But I got to wondering, got to thinking about the biggest home run hitter that the Reds have ever had. I didn't think about guys like Foster, you know, he had the 52 home runs, I think it was, in 77. Uh, Kluzowski had 49 and 54, then last year Suarez with 49, so those are all big numbers. Of course, you know, Griffey put up some big numbers. Uh, who else? Bottles had a couple good years, and um, guys like Eric Davis, and the list goes on, but I got to thinking, who was the most prolific home run hitter that the Reds have ever had? And I got to studying it, and got to looking at it, and I was amazed at who it was. I, I, I had no idea. I, honestly, I thought it was either Foster or Kluzowski. It's neither one of those guys. And I've got to stay tuned to the end because there's a little added bonus that will blow your socks off as well. So. Let's flip this camera around and look at some cars while we talk about the Reds' most prolific single season. Get that single season home run hitter. So let's do it. Okay, we're talking about the Reds' most prolific single season home run king and you automatically think of this guy right here and the season he had in 77 that's George Foster uh, that year he hit ended up hitting 52 home runs and that record still stands today and it was almost surpassed last year I think if Eugenio Suarez hadn't got injured towards the end of the year he probably would have been real close to passing Foster some big years. This guy right here had one. Um, Kluzowski, Ted Kluzowski in 54 ended up hitting 49 home runs. Um, big power hitter for the Reds. Um, and he's like fifth, I think, on the all time Cincinnati Reds home run list. Kluzowski. Uh, of course, Suarez hit 49 last year, and that's the top three um, single season home run totals in the last 50 years. But who holds the record for the single season home run percentage? And what I mean by that is how many at bats do they have to come up to the plate before they hit a home run? Um, before we get into that, let's look at some of the Reds' all-time home run hitters. Uh, of course, this guy right here holds it uh, with a total of 389. That's Mr. Bench, Johnny Bench. And this is the most home runs in a Reds uniform. Johnny here is 389. And second on that list in a Reds uniform is this guy right here. I've seen this card in my last video, Frank Robinson. Uh, he has 324. Uh, third on the list is Mr. Tony Perez. Uh, he had 287 in a Reds uniform. Tony Perez. And the next one that kind of kind of threw me for a loop is this guy right here. He is fourth on the all-time list for home runs for the Cincinnati Reds, and that's Mr. Joey Votto. Uh, big clue here, he is fifth all-time, and then Foster is sixth all-time with 244 total home runs in a Reds uniform. This guy right here is ninth on the list with 210. But really and truly in a real sense, George Foster isn't the true home run king. And if you think about it, you break it down per at-bats, 
last year, Junio Suarez had 49 home runs and 575 at bats. That was a percentage of 8.5%, meaning that every 100 at bats he come up, he hit eight home runs, eight and a half home runs. Um, same uh, Foster, found it kind of the same in uh, 77 when he hit 52, is at 615 at bats. So that's at a clip at 8.5%. That was in 77. Uh, Kluzinski, uh, in comparison in 49, batted 573 times, and he held this record up until 94, and he was hitting home runs at an 8.6% clip. Uh, of course, that led the Reds for, well, from 54 to 94, so what's that, 40 years? Until this guy right here, a squat slugger <laughs> built like a powder keg, broke it in 1994. And it's this guy right here, Mr. Kevin Mitchell. Gold tooth and all. Uh, he came to the Reds in 92 uh, in a trade that sent to Norm Charlton. Norm Charlton sounds familiar. He was one third of the uh, Nasty Boys. They sent Norm Charlton to the uh, Seattle Mariners. And Mitchell, if he would have stayed healthy, of course he had weight problems and um, he had an real inability to stay in trouble all the time. But if he could have, if he could have avoided those pitfalls, he would have probably been his potential would have been through the roof because he was very talented. Um, his biggest year came in 89 with the Giants. If you remember the 80, 89 year? Uh, 89, he was the National League MVP with the Giants. Uh, that year he batted 291 with 47 home runs and 125 RBIs. Um, you guys probably are more familiar with his defense that year when he made his one-handed grab uh, in the corner against the uh, St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, as a matter of fact, it was Ozzie Smith at bat. So let's take a look at that. And that's sliced uh, to left field, and it's another chance for Mitchell, and he makes a pair-handed catch! <laughs> In my entire life, I've never seen that happen. <laughs> well, look at that. <laughs> I, I have a feeling you're not alone. you got to be kidding me. Well, yeah, I'll tell you something. You, <laughs> you heard the pregame interview in which uh, he said Willie Mays has been helping him with his outfielding. Willie Mays, the only other guy I know that's ever done that. Got to be the play of the year. My goodness, the fans at Bush Stadium watching it on the big board, giving Mitchell a great round of applause. Check him out. He realizes that he has probably overrun it and he can't use his glove. So I guess what do you do? You throw up your other hand. That's pretty awesome. I'm sure you guys have seen that before. Um, but. Mitchell here in 94 with the Reds, of course, he was on the downside of his career, more or less, but in 94, he had 310 at-bats, uh, and he had 30 home runs, which put his percentage at 9.7%. So he was hitting a home run 9.7% of the time. So every 100 at-bats, he would hit 9.7 home runs which is a record that stands today. Um, you know, if the, the strike, of course, 94 is a strike-shortened season, uh, if he would have went on and had, say, 600 at-bats at the pace that he was hitting them, he would potentially could have hit 58 home runs. And that would have that broke the record uh, for sure with the Reds. That year, surprisingly, of 101 hits, 49 of those were extra bases, 
which boosted his slugging percentage. So that year he also holds the Reds slugging percentage, which is at 6.681. Uh, up until that time, Ted Klozuski held it from his 54 season with six, or .642. So he's got a couple of Reds records, the most prolific home run hitter and also he holds the slugging single season slugging percentage record as well. But that's Kevin Mitchell. Red single season all time slugging percentage holder. Now as I was going through as I was going through stats, for some reason I, I come up on stolen bases. Now I'll make this real oh, sorry. I knew I'd do that. But I'll make this real quick. Uh, who do you think's the fastest guy that ever played for the Reds? Uh, in my opinion, I mean, there's been a lot of guys. Wally Post comes to mind. Uh, Deion Sanders, Reggie Sanders, Eric Davis even. Uh, King Griffey Jr., he was fast. Uh, but here recently, in the last five years, Billy Hamilton comes to mind. Billy Hamilton in uh, 2013 stole 13 bases. Well, he made 13 attempts and got caught one time. Actually, he made 14 attempts, got caught one time, stole 13 bases. That's a percentage of 92.86%. Who do you think, without looking, who do you think holds the Cincinnati Reds single season stolen base percentage record? I'll give you a second to think about it. All right, time's up. This blew me away. None other guy holds that record. Single season, stolen base percentage record. Ten or more attempts is none other than Mr. Johnny Bench. Johnny Bench stole in 1975, had a, a 10 attempts. I'm sorry, he had 11 attempts. And out of 11 attempts... He got caught zero times. He has a hundred percent stolen base record. So I thought that was pretty cool. Mr. Johnny Bench holds a lot of records for the Reds, home run, and also single season stolen base percentage record. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Mr. Ted Simmons, Carlton Fisk, and Mike Piazza. So anyway, that's all I got folks. Glad you could tune in. Thanks for following me. Thanks for staying with me this long. I hope you learned a little something about the Cincinnati Reds and Mr. Gold Tooth, Kevin Mitchell. That's all I got, guys. Hey, God bless you. God bless America. Hey, and stay safe this 4th of July. Until next time. Peace. Boom.